Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm Shana Lynn and I live my life in hyperfixations because I like to go from one thing to the other, to the other, to the next. I'm about living life here, okay? So, today's video is about this book, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, and it is, I absolutely love it. I, okay, so when I was little, I did not read often and it took me a while to learn to read and I had trouble with reading comprehension and all that stuff. So growing up, I was like, why read? Because people have told me my whole life I was stupid, but I have proved them wrong. I am not stupid and I can read lots of books perfectly fine and I can comprehend them perfectly fine. So for all you people out there, all your the little ones who think they're stupid, you are not stupid. You can do whatever you put your mind to. I promise you. Get out all the haters and you do what you want to do. So that being said, I am a new reader, so I don't read fast. I kind of feel like I should not be doing a book review because um, of the backstory I just told you. So please be kind <laughs> in the comments if this, I don't know, blows up somehow. Um, please be kind. So, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Love, love, love it. The writing, superb. That in and of itself is enough. I read this book in like five days. It's 444 pages and the chapters are so small. There's a couple chapters that are only a page and a half. So if you have just a little bit of time, you can sit down and get a chapter in, two, three chapters in, and it makes it easier to read, I feel like. Cause then if they have longer chapters, you're like, well, I don't really want to stop in the middle of the chapter, so I'll wait to read it. This one, you can just read it whenever you have a free chance. So, <clears throat> Addie, who is alive like 1693 or 98, 1707, she has no desire to be a wife, a mom. She wants to be free to live her own life. She wants to travel the world. She got to travel to different towns with her dad and that's what she wants to do. She wants to leave and see the world. She wants to be her own person. She wants to be free, not tied down to any man. So she kind of gets through her life and doesn't really, no one pushes it for her to get married until one man becomes a widower and then she's kind of arranged to marry him. And so she goes out and she prays and she doesn't realize it's getting dark and she ends up praying to the wrong, wrong God, the God of darkness. And he answers and he gives her what she asks for, but with a price. So she wants to be free. That's what she says. And he gives her that, but now no one can remember her and she cannot say her name. So she has to go under these different names. And so they talk to her and then as soon as they leave or she's out of sight, they don't remember her at all. So it's very difficult for her to make friendships, to make relationships, to um, get a job to stay anywhere because no one remembers her once that she is out of sight. Until eventually someone does remember her. And so you get to see that relationship play out and you get to see the relationship between her and the darkness play out because he gets to stay along for the ride too. And he visits her every so often. And <laughs> to be honest, uh, the Darkness or Luke was my favorite character and I kind of wish there was more of him throughout the book because I liked 
the play between those two. Um, one thing though, if you're not a big fan of like jumping around, like books jumping around from this time to this time, then you probably won't like this book because it goes from her life in the past to her life now and it switches back and forth. Almost every other chapter is like that. So if that's not your cup of tea, this book probably won't be your cup of tea. I love this book. It's my first like fantasy book I've read. And I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's just because it's a new genre for me, but I loved it. I absolutely love this book. The writing, I love the short chapters. I loved the characters. I loved the way she writes. I just really liked this one. So I am giving it five out of five. The only thing I would change is adding uh, Luke in more. And that's about it. So if you're looking for a new book to read, definitely pick this one up. It's a good one. And I believe it's coming to the movies. It's going to be a movie, but I can't find out any dates or anything like that. So I hope they haven't given up on it because I would love to see it as a movie. So if you like that, I'm going to be doing more book reviews. I'm probably going to be doing skating videos because I got myself some roller blades or roller skates. Um, I like to do chalk art, paper art, origamis in the works, and of course crochet and sewing. So if you like all those things, please like and subscribe. Have a great day.